Okay, so hello my people over there. Today I want to be showing you some art making and I have three photographs over here and these photographs have been taken out of this shirt actually. I mean these photographs you see over here. These are abstract photographs I have taken out of this shirt you can see over here and the shirt features this um, this kind of plain design. It's Ralph Polo shirt, you can see the horse in the logo over here, Polo. And it's a, you know, quite a rare shirt, you know, there's probably not that many of those in the world. And I took these photos of the shirt, you can see the uh, wings of the plane are kind of like here. And I took this, here you can see the plane pretty clearly. And then I have this one picture that I took last year actually from the um, sky. And I thought that, yeah, planes, they fly in the sky and, you know, why not combine these pictures into one. And I'm gonna use this layered approach like this. And we are gonna use these three photographs. Maybe we're gonna need some more over here. I didn't yet know how we're gonna accomplish this but we're gonna try and I'm going to start with this layer and I want to create some interesting color combinations over here and we're gonna get this if we have like a reddish type of color over there I want to use something really cool or maybe or may yeah let's actually make this one a little bit you know warmer in the color scheme you know this one this one already looks kind of interesting you know you can do all kinds of magic with the camera and these are like these are overexposed photos so you have to understand that uh, it's a yeah it's a it's not what you're gonna get if you just take a photo out of the fucking out of the fucking, sh the fucking thing you know you have to I have to understand the settings of the camera pretty good. And we're gonna do this kind of layering approach over here. Let's do it like that. That looks really interesting. Then we're gonna take this photograph and we're gonna put it like that. Let's flip around this layer maybe no okay there's something interesting in this this there's something interesting over here it's compositionally we're very very weird you know but I feel that there has to be something more so I'm gonna find another picture okay so now you look at this I added another cloud picture over here uh, and I'm gonna adjust the layer of it a little bit you know like let's just make it you know appear just you know like maybe that would be interesting yeah yeah that's interesting now let's modify the whole picture Okay, so now we have this, all of this baked into one picture and it's compositionally pretty interesting because we have this line over here that like rotates, you know, there's kind of a spiral in it and, you know, it's, it's, it's an interest, interesting photo. Now let's um, put some contrast into it like that, like that and then add some black. I think that's interesting. This line over here, it almost looks like some plain wing, you know. Um, this might this might be one of the one of those. Oh, that you know that looks that looks freaking good. like I want to create these kind of these kind of pictures that would have. I was just actually one the one day I was looking at David Hockney's, you know, I had this book by David Hockney and he did all kinds of uh, photography experiments, but I felt that they were 
just the start, you know. Like, look at this picture. Like, shit, man. Like, that's awesome, you know. Okay, like, that's great, you know. Like, man. So, let's try. I'm gonna try something really out of the box over here. We have a red layer, so we are gonna try. Uh, we're gonna try. Um, I don't know we have that kind of layer. We're gonna try this green. We're gonna try this green. We're gonna get the whole thing like this, and then we're gonna adjust the values. We're gonna adjust the values and make it make it a little bit more black. You know, I just go by feel. You know, and if you are wondering, I have done art for five years at this point. Uh, I did painting, and you could see in the plain short, you know, the shirt <laughs> video I showed you, you could see my drawings on the background. And yeah, I've done art for five years, so I kind of have a feel for it. We're gonna flip this around, we're gonna save, and then you know, these are starting to look like trees more than clouds. Yeah. Okay, and now we have those both of those pictures like this and I'm going to try this I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try to kind of That you know look at that I'm gonna It's it's kind of, I, I thought about you know the I thought about the rotors on the kind of, on the plane and I kind of thought that if the rotors on the plane are you know Let's try it. Let's try it another way. Also, if the rotors on the plane are kind of, you know, pointing at every direction, then how about we make this? Yeah, that's really interesting. That's really in that's that's a good on itself. But you know that that has something fucking. <laughs> you know, it's it's a psyched psychedelic landscape. You know, I don't know. Let's let's take this one and let's fly with it. Okay, so now those layers are in uh, in one picture. Then we are gonna take the contrast over here. We're gonna uh, amplify it a lot. Uh, we're gonna save all the possible variations of this, so we can take the we can make the best one. You know, the last one in the in the thing. And uh, man, I should probably contact you know Ralph Polo the firm that made the shirt because I feel that you know for example here you know I've seen actually on their some of their products they use this kind of like psychedelic color scheme you know so they might be interest interested in what I do this actually look like trees you know it's it's it, these look like fish like like man like like think about it, you know, like what are the possibilities over here, you know? I could, I could, I could, I don't know if I could like help this, you know, uh, clothing manufacturers to like sell their shit, you know, even by doing this kind of art. It could be a, it could be a really interesting marketing ploy, you know, also. I bet that now, yeah, I know this has never been done, you know, I I know this has never been done. <laughs> yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, that looks interesting. That looks interesting. But there's a corner over here. Uh, it has a certain kind of feel from, you know, cubism. Uh, you know, because it's kind of a checker. You know, I have to try w with one of those checker design, you know, Ralph Polo shirts. I have like 10 of those shirts, you know, so I have to I have to really start using those to, to, for this kind of this kind of stuff. These, le these are these are not I don't dig these. We're going to try something else. Could also work with something like that. But you know, it's kind of an alchemical process. You take something that is pretty simplistic in itself and 
you take it to the next level and and it's 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 insane that you know like I, uh, it's ins it's insane that you kind of make some product over here and then somebody takes it and flies with it you know and like make something out of it and I like there's there's no way that you could have planned well maybe you could have planned there's no way that you could have planned this picture you know it just came about I made artistic decisions and that's one of the things that you have to really start doing if you are an artist and you buy clothes you have to buy artistic clothes like you know you have to get artistic clothes don't get those clothes that are not artistic you know because they don't have artistic outcomes in them you know yeah and then we're gonna try something like this ah oh, yeah you know Ralph Polo is an American guy and didn't abstract expressionism abstract expressionism kind of start in United States well well it's actually abstract art it started in Russia there was this one guy who did the black and white black square on white background or something like that I like that one also it has it even has a painterly quality to it uh, I like making art like this because the original subject is fabric and landscape I'm kind of combining comb oh, man man that looks that looks fucking amazing man I have to use this shirt more you know like that's it I think we are on to some I think we are on the million dollars over here you know I have been doing this art for like five years now and I'm self-taught and I have been doing art and abstraction and that kind of stuff for five years, but you know I feel that I'm, I feel that we are on the fucking million dollars over here. But we have this line over here. Well, it might be fine if we, yeah, it's it's fine. Let's just leave it, you know. But it's due to the layers we used. But let's use some psychedelic font over here. I want to sign this thing. Oh, that's good. And we're gonna we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna use. Do we use this corner? Now there's. I think we're gonna use this corner, and we're gonna write over here truth detective. And I use this my artist name because because um the artist name kind of uh, links into my. YouTube stuff and you can find it easily uh, on on the internet. That's why I use the artist name and not my real name. It's kind. It also kind of comes from from musicians. You know, I also do kind of music related stuff. So, oh, oh man, like oh man, that's. I love this, you know. I love this, you know. I I fucking love this picture, you know. Like all this art piece, you know. Like it's so this there's something magical, you know, over here happening. And the and the best part of it is, is that it's a kind of collaborative effort, you know. Some who knows who did the shirt, you know. Who like you know who knows like. The shirts from Ralph Polo, they are made in Vietnam, actually, and they are really high quality. They're really high quality. And uh, they last, they last like, forever, you know. Uh, they can be washed and washed and washed and washed. And the way they, like, do the weave uh, is really interesting because they have this checkerboard design, checkerboard way of, like, doing the shirt. Uh, there's, a, there's this small, small check, checkering that they they use uh, to achieve like the strongest fabric and man it's so it's so amazing let's try a few different 
Oh man, like that pops too much. I like the. Uh, you have to understand that when you use colors in the colors in the uh, colors in the signature, they are gonna point. They're gonna point uh, to those color blocks in the picture. Yeah, uh, yeah. Every every everything that you put in a picture will point point to those color blocks. So we are gonna have this kind of uh, compass type of you know thing. Uh, there's a line. There's a line that will go from this signature. That is actually not. That looks kind of wrong, actually. Is it like yeah? Oh, what if we, what if we did this guy? Oh, no. Whatever. Whatever. What if we did it, did it like this? So yeah, I, I was saying that every everything you put in the picture or in the signature the colors will point to those color blocks so you have to get this kind of for example here we get this kind of triangle but those color yeah let's go back that's that's it what was that color combination the yellow and the orange yeah, so yeah it kind of it the orange is kind of it doesn't grab so much attention from the corner well you know I have a couple of versions that's too much that's good I like that one also and the orange is orange is also good yeah. so that's the final picture now we're gonna look at the different versions but we have a million dollars over here Okay, so let's look at these layers and these uh, versions. Here's the first one. We started with orange and then we added this layer and the clouds. Um, and then we added more clouds. Then we kind of changed the, sh uh, changed the position of the thing to the more to the middle. Then we br brought it forth like that. Then we started making it more like i don't know it looks great on its own like right now then we made a green version then we rotated it made it like that like airplane wings brought it forth more you know you're starting to see it coming together uh, that's a little bit unbalanced that's great this starting to feel really awesome then we're gonna like then we get to the like the real artistry over here and then where's making this this yeah so that's uh, I'm gonna look at this one more time I feel that I feel that the orange one is best because it kind of it kind of points you know to the it points to the yellow blocks under the middle and this and this color and this color over here, this uh, hot pink, you know, uh, this points more to the like these. Yeah. I like that. I like that one. Thanks for watching.